What's up everybody? My name is Sophia Wallace. I'm a visual artist and I want to talk to you guys all about my new project, Literacy. I think that there are there is like a grassroots literacy movement happening, but we do make no doubt about it still live in a society and culture that is dominated by the intercourse discourse. Cliteracy and this campaign really, I feel, gives me the tools and the language to speak about female pleasure um, and speak about mutual shared pleasure in sex with women without using language that may come across like I'm trying to mansplain someone's clit and their vagina to them. Honestly, I think it's scary to men and even to some women to think that if you really unleash the power of female orgasm, you could change the world. A clitorate society would be one where we are equally privileging male and female orgasms uh, in an egalitarian way and we are very uh, open to all of the sex acts that mutually produce orgasms. If we can make more people aware of it, hopefully like depictions in movies and in television of sex being a male, you know, uh, an act of male domination or a female submission, we can really finally move away from that and have a comfortable conversation where sex is a mutual consensual thing. Having the word clit on me is sort of about that dedication or loyalty to upholding the idea of pleasure and how important that is for all people, but especially I think for queer people because we're so often demonized by our sexuality and, and by our sex and it, we're told that that's something that is evil or corrupt. And so to think about having sex with another person as something that's beautiful and positive is, is something that I think needs to be celebrated and something that I wanna remind myself of on you know every single day. And there's this other thing, this little bonus track we get, this sexual pleasure. And it seems a shame that we would miss out on it because somebody told us along the line that it was dirty or bad or yucky. Well, the first thing you have to do is just forget that. That was a lie. That's the first lie. The, the real original sin is that you were lied to and told that sex is dirty. That's the first problem. However you get off, great. That's your business. But like, definitely your actual anatomy should be acknowledged. In reality, female sexuality doesn't even really exist without the clit. I mean, if you're talking about female sexuality and not talking about the clit, then I kind of want to know what you're talking about. We're talking about female sexuality without pleasure, in which case, what, what then really, what are we talking about? <laughs> A lot of people I notice when they hear about the project, and it's like they'll say the word, for, like, and it's like the first time they've ever said it. You know, it's like they're like, Clitoris? And it's all awkward and shaky, and I'm like, say it, yeah, it's okay, you know? If the clit conversation is just starting, if we're just becoming clitorate, then part of that means saying clit out loud and using the word clit properly and remembering it's not just the little bit that we see outside and respecting it and making sure it's present at the party. Clitoris. Clitoris. Clit. Clitoris. Clit. Clitoris. 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 I like my clit. love my clitoris. 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 Clit. Clitoris. Clitoris. Just say it. Clit. Clitoris. 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 Clit. 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 Clitoris. Clitoris. Clit. Or clitoris. Clit. Clitoris. 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 Clit.